Hello, welcome to an overview of Windows 8 themes. I'm Joshua, and for the next 10 days, I have 10 themes that will be previewed for you guys to go ahead and decide on how to personalize your Windows PC with today's featured theme. Before we start, if you'd like to go ahead and see more of these videos, you can hit the subscribe button before I start or after. And you can also find updates for each video I create on Google+, Twitter, or my Flippin' Windows Facebook fan page. So today's theme is Ultimate Clean updated by GSW953. He's a cool theme maker. So let's go ahead and take a look at the interface to see if it belongs on your desktop. Beginning with the wallpaper, we have a pitch black background with a skull with wings, but you can also add your own. Down below on the taskbar, the icons are isolated with a white border. Left clicking on the system clock, we have a custom clock included shown here with the theme. Opening the file explorer gives us an in-depth look at the Windows interface for right here. All the device and drives have a light gray to indicate the amount of space on each one. Something different with this theme is that the background open in the file explorer is a bit transparent using a program called Aero Transparent. It's free and it can be found in the link via the About tab. The Explorer frame itself with the forward and back buttons also has white arrows. The top right options for minimize, maximize, and close are invisible unless you hover over them. The start menu is a custom Windows 8 logo hovering over and has an effect. You can include that if you have a third party start menu. On the desktop you can always right click getting to personalize. That way you will have access to select the theme once you add it to the theme folder. So that ends this overview for the ultimate clean theme. The theme will be available to download in the about tab of this video guys. All directions for applying the theme will be in the zip file and if you are not able to understand, look at the video on how to extract and add theme files to the theme folder, then applying the theme. Also, the only way to go ahead and use these type of third party themes is to install a third party theme patcher. And I have a video on how to do that if you guys like to go ahead and learn with the download link right here on the video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and share with your friends via Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. And if you guys want to see another theme, please wait for another one by subscribing. Or at the end of this video, you guys can go ahead and see another theme featured just by clicking the annotations. That's it guys. Glad you enjoyed this video on your one-stop place for Windows tech and customization. And don't forget to subscribe to Flippin' Windows so we can all grow together. And until more content arrives, catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.